I'm clear of the shuttle and maneuvering myself toward the Hubble. Roger that. 60 meters. Take it nice and easy. You did some mighty fine parking there, Dan. Didn't want you to have to walk too far now, did we? I could stay out here forever. 50 meters. How's Earth looking? Beautiful. God must have had a smile on his face when he painted this picture. There's nothing like seeing it when you're out here on your own, Dan. You should grab a suit and come on out. No thanks. I'm afraid of heights. 40. Sure you know what to do? I think I've practiced enough. Just need to give it a good kick. That ought to do it. <laughs> How many times are we going to have to come up here and fix this thing? What is this, 10, 11 times so far? That'll teach NASA to get the extended warranty next time. 20 meters. Well, as long as I'm not out here too long, this suit gets heavier by the minute. The suit's got nothing to do with it. You're just getting older by the minute. Yeah? You come out here and say that. <laughs> now, now, be nice, or you'll be walking home. Ten meters. Hold on, Tom. What's that? What? Just a second. Tell me what you see at your two o'clock high. Looks like some kind of satellite, but nothing I've ever seen before. Whatever it is, it's not supposed to be here. Are you sure? Can you get in for a closer look? Maybe try and find out where it came from. Look for the Made in Taiwan stamp, eh? Judging by its current trajectory, I don't think it came from Taiwan. What? You think... You think it might have come from somewhere out there? Nah, probably just some old space junk that got knocked out of its orbit. Find out who it belongs to and report it to Houston. I'm maneuvering toward it now. At least this breaks up the monotony. I can make out some writing on the satellite. What does it say? I'm not sure. I don't recognize it. Oh, for crying out loud, Tom. Why do we even bring you along? No, I'm serious. And there's something else. I think it's still got some power. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be getting so close to it. It might be something the Ruskies put up here when they were still the neighborhood bully. This writing doesn't look Russian to me. There seems to be a number of small compartments all along the sides. About the size of pillboxes. I'm going in for a closer look. Let's report it first and see what NASA wants to do with it. Just a sec, Dan. Something's happening. Tom, I don't like this. It looks like it's activating itself. There are a bunch of lights coming on and I can feel a definite vibration. Houston, we've encountered an object near the Hubble telescope and we're pursuing... One of the compartments is beginning to open. Tom, get away from that thing! There's some kind of strange luminescence coming from inside. Tom! <laughs> Christine, would you be so kind as to hold still, please? Doctor, I've been telling you since daybreak, and now it's almost evening. How much longer? Michelangelo didn't paint the Sistine Chapel in one day, you know. I do not know who this Michelangelo used to be this, but barely. He must have taken at least time for some. One more minute. You've been saying that all day. Doctor! Finished. Really? May I see? Of course. Behold the masterpiece. I wonder if they'll have room for it at the Louvre. What is it? That's you, my dear. Tis not me. I do not know what manner of creature that is, but tis certainly not me. Why do you seem to me to pose all day when you paint this rubbish? But that is you, Christine. I wasn't interested in painting your outer shell. If I wanted that, I could have just taken a snap. I wanted the real you. Look. This is the dust you were formed out of. This is the breath that gave you life. This is the spirit that is your very essence. And this, this is your heart that makes you, you. Really, you are very odd at times. I told you you'd like me. Come on, Doctor. You just promised to show unto me this new world. Why are you in such a rush? It's not like it's going to go anywhere. Take the time to savor your surroundings. I don't suppose that while you've been posing all day, as you've complained, that you've actually appreciated where you are. And where might that be? This is Washington, D.C., home to some of the greatest leaders in this new world you want to go rushing about in. Over there is the Washington Monument. And there's the Lincoln Memorial. Verily, it must have been great men who had such mighty fortresses built off to them. They were very great indeed, but those aren't fortresses. The memorials so people could remember and be inspired by the people they represent. What else is there? I thought you said you wanted to eat. But I want to see it all! Christine! Come on, Doctor! Never a moment's peace with that girl. 
I don't believe it. We knew it was an uphill battle on the Senator. Reichman for months swore he'd vote for this if I sided with him on that ridiculous highway bill of his. Well, just because he's got an election coming up, he chickens out. With all due respect, Senator, lost by more than just his vote. When are we going to start acting like the leaders we're supposed to be, huh? When? Or have we all traded our guts for the latest polling data? There's always next congressman. This isn't a horse race! Sorry, it just frustrates me. Why can't people see past their wallets? This was a good bill. Of course it was, Senator. We all believed in it. So what if it have cost a little more? People need to stop driving around in those toxic gas guzzlers anyway. Senator Hansen's office. No, no, of course not. She hasn't forgotten. She's already on her way. Who was that? George Taylor. Wanted to know why you aren't at the press conference yet. That was today? In ten minutes. Oh, perfect. This paper would have a field day if I didn't show up the dedication to my own project. Well, you can still make it if you don't stop for any red lights. Oh, watch my smoke! There'll be a short question-answer period at the end. Senator Hansen? It hasn't started yet, has it? It should be starting... Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Distinguished guests. It is my honor to present Mission Specialist Thomas Klein. Thank you. When I was selected to go on the recent Endeavor mission, I knew I was one of the luckiest people alive. It is so rare to be able to live out a dream. I could never envision that happening twice in my lifetime, yet here I now stand before you. This project is the result of the hard work of many people. Benjamin Radcliffe, Susan Walker, and Leah Bartholomew, just to name a very few. Yet without their work, I don't know where we would be today. Fortunately, we now have before us that which is going to usher in a new era for mankind. One where cheap, renewable, and clean energy is available for all. Already, these magnificent achievements are hard at work benefiting the lives of those in the great states of California and Hawaii. Now, it is my honor and privilege to dedicate this third wonder to the magnificent people of our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Earth Fire 3. What happened? Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. Call 911. Dr. Klein. Dr. Klein. He's dead. What? Good morning, Senator. That is yet to be seen. Have you been here all night? Depends on what your definition of all night is. If you mean have I been here since the sun went down, then no. But I spent most of the night watching my career go down the tubes with Dr. Klein. It was a terrible tragedy. The only reason I was able to get funding for a project like Earthfire was because it had a big name behind it. Now that he's dead... Do they know why? Why what? Why did he die? He was a picture of health yesterday morning, they say. Oh, I don't know. They're supposed to be doing an autopsy this morning. CNN said that NASA was isolating the satellite the shuttle brought back with them last week. They wouldn't say why, but everyone's guessing that it had something to do with Klein's death. What's my calendar look like today? The usual lunch with the chairman from Ways and Means. Oh, and Dr. Baker from Earthfire left a message that she would like to see you. Did she say what for? Just that it was urgent. <sighs> Do I have any free time? Depends on your definition of free time. Okay, tell her I'll meet with her at 11.30. I can't imagine it'll take long, and that way I can still get to my lunch on time. Yes, ma'am. Until then, hold my calls. Yes, ma'am. Well, Dr. Klein, Bet this is a lot colder than space, huh? <laughs> We'd best get you down to autopsy before they bang the walls down. I'm telling you, every reporter in the country must be outside wondering what happened to you. I don't know how you do it, but you never get me into one of them space shuttles. Just between you and me, I get airsick if I wear platform shoes. Now, you won't go telling nobody I said that, will you? It's non-stop, you know that? Just when you think you got a moment's peace. Morg! Yes, we're on our way right now. I know we're running late. Once this guy starts talking, you just can't get him to shut up. We'll be there in a few minutes. Uh-huh, bye. Well, I guess they're ready for you. Bet you're not in any hurry, though, are you? The idea of someone cutting you open, playing around with your insides, must give you the chills. Okay, Mr. Astronaut, it's time for your final ride. <laughs> what, what the? Yo! <laughs> taking so long. Shall I have him paged? Yes, please do. He should be here by now. 
Blue room, dial 2429 stat. Blue room, dial 2429 stat. We have to get this finished before the press conference this afternoon. The toxicology results won't be ready by then. We just need to give the reporter something to chew on for a bit. I'm more worried about Capitol Hill. They want this thing wrapped up in a hurry, too. And I don't think they'll be too interested in hearing about delays from the lab. Well, that's strange. No one's called back. This is ridiculous. Come with me. We'll pick up the body ourselves. <gasps> what the? Dr. Vincent, what happened? Call security. Security, this is the blue room. Oh, my. Nurse! Yes, doctor. Ah! He's been mutilated. Dr. Vincent, look! Dr. Klein's body! It's gone! Christine! Christine! Blast that girl! She positively delights in giving me aggravation. Didn't I tell her not to wander off by herself on strange planets and in strange times? Of course I did! I heard me say it! Why wouldn't she listen to me? Every word I speak bears a universe of knowledge. Who wouldn't give their very soul to spend ten minutes at my feet as I expound upon the mysteries of creation? Could it be? Could it be that I'm boring her? Christine doesn't appreciate my sage advice because I've lost touch with the simple things in favor of the deep, untouchable, ultimately unknowable truths that encompass us all? <sighs> She's just being a brat. Excuse me, I'm afraid I've mislaid my friend. Have you seen a young girl about 15 years old? Red hair, blue eyes, has a look about her as if she's perpetually confused? No? Oh. oh, thank you. Run! Run! Christine? Oh, they could be lost, but they ever doesn't take that down! Huzzah! They have pushed him! Christine! Oh, Doctor, did you see? The Bella and Jay disfigures the black heart of Tomcat! What? Behold! Billy the future is indeed magical! Even the mice talk! Christine, that's a cartoon. It's Tom and Jerry. They're not real. But I saw- Look! See? They're back in another cartoon. But you said these boxes could show me pictures of people in places, just like the windows in the TARDIS! The scanner? I did say that, didn't I? The television is more for entertainment. Most of what you see isn't real. Terrible things, really. Rots the mind. Better if you just stayed away from it. It will really rot my mind. Um... Yes, yes it will. Come on, I'll buy you lunch. We interrupt this program for the following special announcement. Just a second. But, Doctor, you said... Shh. Officials at George Washington Hospital have announced that the press conference scheduled for this afternoon has been postponed. No reason was given for the postponement, and officials declined to comment further. This unusual maneuver regarding so public a figure only adds to the mystery surrounding the death of astronaut Thomas Klein. What? Klein having died suddenly yesterday evening during the dedication ceremony of Earthfire 3, cause of his death is still pending the autopsy. We'll have the latest at the noon news hour. This has been an RBS special report. We now return you to your regularly scheduled broadcast. This nervous man, Doctor. I met him when he was a young boy. Very bright lad. Always had his head up in the stars. So I tell him stories of some of the places I've been to. I guess you could say I inspired him to go into the astronaut program. Always meant to come back, drop in on him again. Time seems to slip away so easily. Well, I guess this is my last chance. He said he was at George Washington Hospital. Fancy a little walkabout? I thought we were going to eat lunch. Later, later. <sighs> Yes? Uh, oh, Dr. Baker. Senator, thank you for seeing me on such short notice. Well, I'm sorry we didn't get to meet last night at the dedication ceremony. You were there. Well, I was running late. Ah, yes. I really didn't get a chance to look over the guest list. What can I do for you, Doctor? I understand that NASA is beginning to take another look at that strange satellite the shuttle brought back last week. Everyone's wondering if it had anything to do with Klein's death. Oh, you know how those scientists are. They'll poke and prod at it until the crack of doom. This was just an excuse for them to monopolize the thing. I would like to offer the services of Earthfire 3 to NASA. We have a state-of-the-art research facility, far better than anything even they have. They would be more than welcome to use it. Oh, I'll be sure to pass on your kind offer. Oh, but you know how political even the science community is? We both know they'll clamp down on that thing as if it were the holy grail itself. 
I was hoping you might be able to use some of your influence to maybe help sway the opinions of some people. I'm not exactly sure I have that kind of influence, Dr. Baker. Of course you do. You're on the Appropriations Committee, aren't you? That carries quite a bit of weight among those who feed at the government trough, so to speak. You seem to want that satellite very badly, Doctor. Any particular reason why? Believe me, Senator, no one wants to know why Dr. Klein died more than I do. And, after all, this would certainly show off to the world the cutting-edge research the people at Earthfire are capable of, that we're not just a bunch of green freaks. Of course. Well, I understand. But I really think it's more appropriate of NASA. We both know how much of a sacrifice this would be for you, Senator. It would probably take a lot of calling in a favors to do this. I'm sure we can find some way to repay you. I understand that you recently had a bill defeated on the floor? Yes. It was a very good bill. I believe in it wholeheartedly. And so do a lot of other people I know. What would you say if I called in a few favors myself and got it reintroduced this session? I would say that you have a lot of faith in the facilities at Earthfire, Dr. Baker. I do indeed, Senator. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I knew we could count on you. Time is of the essence, of course. Even our facilities at Earthfire need the freshest specimens. I'll have it on the way by this evening. What did you have to promise her? We'll need Senator Reichman. His record indicates he's not someone easily influenced. Then we'll have to use one of ours to do it. This is our last one here. We have to get that satellite here or everything's lost. That is our top priority. Come, it's time we had a meeting with Reichman. Yes. This is where they keep the dead? Not exactly. This is where people come to be cured. They can find doctors, medicine, everything they need. I do not know. I must not trust my life to those who practice leechcraft. Leechcraft? Oh my dear, I'm afraid you're a little behind the times. Medicine's come quite a long way since the day of leeches and I have newt. Hello? There is no one here. How very odd. Perhaps the hospital is closed. Is anyone about? Hmm. Ah! What was that? It came from this way. God's teeth! Don't touch anything! Doctor! He is dead, is he not? Yes. Look at these marks on him. Tis some animal that wrote this foul deed. An animal? In here? Don't move. It is in here with us, is it not? It's behind that table. Doctor, you must flee! It's between us and the only way out! Who is coming? Stay behind me! Ah! 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 